Ich bin auch ein Jew. I am also a Jew. It just came out of me. And uh, once I said that, that, of course, that was a connection with a lot of the, the, the poor souls. 95-year-old Alan Moskin recalls the first words he spoke to Nazi concentration camp survivors as he and other American troops liberated the Gunskirchen Lager Camp in Austria, May 4th, 1945. And, uh, you know, and then came up and held me and was saying, Danke, Madakana, Danke, thank you, thank you, Yuda, and crying. And some of them couldn't be saved. They were just, they died even as we were there. The bodies we had to pick up. Moskin, an Englewood native who enlisted at age 18, kept the horrors he saw that day a secret for a half century. It's like I took a key and locked up that part of my brain and threw the key away, didn't want to find the key, wasn't going to talk about it to anybody. I thought it would bring back those nightmares that if I did talk about it. Until 1995, when he was asked by the leader of a Holocaust education group in Rockland County, New York, to share his experiences. I was dead wrong. It was like a catharsis. It was like a purging of all that poison that had been bottling up inside of me. And it just flowed out of me. Since then, he's spoken to tens of thousands of students and other groups, a personal mission to keep history and the truth about the Holocaust and the horrors he witnessed firsthand as a liberator alive. You know, as I said, it's like a calling with me now. I try to reach as many of the young people as I can so that they know the truth. And now, Moskin is telling his story to thousands more, virtually, in an exhibit at the National World War II Museum in New Orleans. It's what museum partner the USC Shoah Foundation calls an interactive biography. Visitors can ask their own questions of Moskin, who appears on a screen. A computer generates an answer from hundreds of hours of pre-recorded video of Moskin, almost as if they're in the room with him. At 95, Moskin figured he didn't have many more years to tell his story. But with this technology, which is also being expanded for use in schools and other venues, he'll keep telling it long into the future. And I want these young people, when I'm gone, to bear witness for me and tell their children and grandchildren that they heard from somebody that was there and that it did happen. And uh, uh, these deniers are full of, you know what, when they say it didn't happen. I'm Brian Donahue. It's Positively New Jersey.